Well, hi, and welcome back. This is part two of the Grand Piano Tutorial. And this is Lori's Stamping Place, .blogspot.com. I'm glad that you've joined me. So we'll get started. Uh, notice that I had some of the measurements incorrect, so please check the description box below for the right ones. Um, I don't have an edit, an edit program, so I can't just put it across the screen. And I noticed also that I was out of frame a lot. So uh, we'll try to do better here. Okay, so um, I'm going to write down my time so that I can keep track. Uh, let's get started. We'll make, we'll put this piano together. So I think the first thing that I want to do is put these sides on. Okay, so remember we cut these out of 11 by, I said two and three fourths, you actually need about three and a half because we've got a, this part, this part here is the two and three fourths and then we have to add another half inch or so here. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get my glue out. I'm thinking here, yeah, I think I wanna put the glue on here. Um, I'm going to have to use some glue up here to attach this part to this little flap. So um, I'm going to start here. And sorry about this. I just have to get this where I can see it. And hopefully you can see it. And we're not going to do them all or the glue will dry, but we're going to go part way up here. So I'm going to stick this under here with about that much, I think. Let's get this on here. Put this, make sure this is on. I'm going to use one of my clips to kind of hold that down there. So. Now we'll keep going. Hopefully I'm in the frame that you can see what I'm doing, okay? Now what I'll do is I'm going to kind of lift this up, get some more glue on here. And any I missed will uh, catch on the other side and attach them down. So let's just keep going in the shape of this piano. this. I'll push it down. And this is our bottom, our, our, uh, um, the second top. Okay. I hope I just did that right. I think I did. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see if we can get up under here. Let's see, I think I need to get this one right here. I'm going to bring that up so I can see it. Put this glue on here. All right, and we want to wrap this around here and push it down. Push that one down, too. And this glue does dry rather quickly, so that makes it nice. Let's get this one a little bit more wrapped around there. Okay, and I think I'll go in here with my bone folder and kind of smash these down. And I'm going to flip this up because I want to make sure this is down also. Okay, now, so you see we got one more of our sides on. Okay, and it's the shiny side. Nice. Okay, we do want to make sure we get these all the way under. Okay, now we'll take this other one and I'm going to kind of give it a, a bend because we want it, it's got to go around a lot of curves here. All right, so this one, yeah, it's a 
little bit. So I'm going to get just a little bit of that. I might have got too much there. Let's see here. I think it, it will probably catch. We'll just put a little bit of glue on the edge here. I may have to reinforce that later. I'm not sure. Let's put some glue on here up to about there. And let's just attach it just barely right here and tap do that. Okay, and let's see. I went to right about there. Let's get these ones down. Okay, now let's get some more glue on here. This is kind of a tricky part to this because we want to make sure. I'm sorry that you can't see this, what I'm doing here. Let's see if we can go this way. Let's see, we're going to hold that there for a second. I see some glue. I'm going to sop it up there. All right. Now let's see. We can come back out. Let's see. Where did I leave off here? I think right here. Right here. Let's get some more glue on that one. down here for a minute. Let's get some of this glue on here, 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 and here. And yeah, we're going to put some on here. All right, that should work. get our other clip here, clothespin, and then take my bone folder and go around here, make sure that that's down. Okay, whoosh, well, that was a tough one. <laughs> this is nerve wracking doing this online. When you're making it, you can kind of stop and look at things and and all that, but when you're trying to do the thing for real. All right, we've got this. I'll probably bend these in a little bit once we get them connected to the other part. Okay, so I wanna flip it over so I can make sure that they're all down. So you can kind of see how this is. So this is what our, um, our other piece is for, this black piece here. This is so that we can cover up all that mess, and it'll also give some more uh, stability to our piano. So what I shall do is put some more glue. I'm going to put glue all on this. And I'm sure you probably can't see because I'm out of frame. All I'm doing is just putting glue and I'm going to put glue all inside of here. And I especially want to get on the edges because I want this to stick down. 
All right, now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to hopefully lay this on here. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous about this. Let me take this and lay it down like that and then take this and I want to get this so I can get it right up here even. Let's check and see. Not bad, not bad at all. Now let's push it all down. Okay, let's take a, um, my bone folder and let's smash that all down, making sure I get around the edges. Hopefully, they covered it all. They did. Yay. Okay, good. And it gives it some more stability, too. I'm going to put my little needle back in my glue. There we go. All right. Oh, phew, that's done. <laughs> it's like I'm sweating bullets here, okay? So, all right, now... Now, the next thing that we want to do is I want to put in my, uh, let's see, I don't really want to put my lid in until I get the other parts done. So, um, I could put my lid in, but oh, I don't know if I want to do that yet or not. Let me see. I really kind of wanted it to be the last thing because, oh, let me get this other piece out. Let's see, this is going to have to go, how? I think I want it like this on here. This will go on top of here. My, yeah, I, I think I really, let me see here. Because this is going to go in here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I might have to put that in first. Hmm, not positive here. I'm going to give it just a little bit of, time to make sure that the glue is holding and I'm gonna get me a I need to have a piece of tissue because I want to get these fingerprints off of here too. I'll make it a piece of tissue here. Come back up here. Okay. Because I'm seeing all these fingerprints on here and it should they should wipe off yeah they did okay so let's see it's gonna go like something like this uh, let me double check here Okay, hope you can see that. <sighs> Let me check here. I just don't know since I'm kind of doing this. Oh, I really got some greasy prints on here. Okay. Ah, let's see. I have to figure this out. So if I stick this on here, where did I have this? Let me see, where did I have that? That's where that went. I want this. It's going to go up. Let me get that one off 
to there. Hmm. since I made the original one, so it's hard to remember what all I did. But I'm putting some glue on this little lid piece. And I'm hoping that it's right about here. Maybe it's up a little farther. And this I have to get right. I'm going to push it down like that and I'm going to put these clips on here. I'll hold that down. Okay, let me check my other one to see what I did. I wanted to check this other original one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just making sure what I did. Okay, let's see if I can get this off now. We'll put these back over here. Because next, what I have to do, yeah, that's curved in there. It looks nice. Okay, the next thing I have to do is put some glue on here. And I am going to glue it because I didn't glue my original one and it kept coming off. So liquid glue is the best thing for putting this piano together. So let's stick this on here and take that off. I think I'm going to flip this upside down is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. I just flip this upside down and I'm attaching this piece so that this is going to go like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put these clips on. because I want it to stay. Okay, for right now, that's what we'll do. Okay, we got the lid. Next thing we need to do is, I believe is our box, which I showed you how to make the box. Some of my measurements um, were probably not exactly correct. Okay, so we're going to take this box and we're going to put glue on these on these ends. Okay, on this end, and we're going to put glue on this end. And again, if I have any seams that I want, now I did something when I put it together. I should have put the inside seam on out, outside of this. That way it would have covered this up and it would have covered this up. And I was not thinking about that, so. Okay, so what we're going to do is put some glue on the ends. And then hopefully it'll stick to that. So, let's try it and see. Sorry, I'm holding it up here so I can see what I'm doing, but I'm just putting glue all around in here. In here. And I'm going to put it on the other end, too. I'll show you here in a sec. Okay, so I've got glue on this end, and I've got glue on this end. I'm going to decide which way I want it. 
There's less fingerprints this way. Alrighty. I'm going to stick my keyboard in here because then this is going to let me know how close I need to get this. Right there. And I'm going to hold it there because I really want this to stick. So we're going to just hold it here for, for a few minutes. So, and I am keeping track of my time. And once you have all your pieces cut out and everything put together, it won't take that long. And I'm hoping my top part here is not too tall. Now that I'm looking at it. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, they look like they're holding pretty well. I'm sure this is holding pretty well also. Okay, I'm going to set the lid down for a minute. Okay, I got these on there. And then I'm going to... I think the next thing I want to do is put my piano keys inside. I'm going to put glue on the bottom here. I'm going to get that piece of fuzzy out of there. So I'm going to put glue all over the bottom. I'll go all the way around. And all on the inside of here. Alrighty, and we're going to match this up. I hope you can see. So I'm going to set it right here and match that up and push it down. And I kind of Put my hand underneath here and push it down too. Because I want this to stick. Okay, now I did notice that I have a little gap on the ends here. So I did make a little piece that I could slip in there, but I'm not sure that I'm going to need to do that. Let me see. Okay, I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, now I do need to trim up these sides. Got this in, we got this in. We'll end up attaching our legs. And this little part that's going to stand up our little, uh, this little thing right here that's going to get stuck on here. The music stand. Let's see if we can cut our um, sides so that it looks more like a piano. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to come up. Yeah, this is going to be the tricky part because I haven't done this. But I'm going to try to come up like this. come down here. Well, maybe I should use the littler scissors. Okay, so we got the side. Whoa, okay. Then what I might do is take this 
And I was gonna try to see if there's a way that I could trace this. Hmm. So that it can look the same. Which way did this come off of? Did it come off? Yeah, it came off like that. So let me think here a second. I think that I want it to go like. Hmm, just trying to figure this out. I'm going to lay this down. Bear with me just a second. Because I want to try to get this to look similar to the other side. Okay, you would not like your piano to not look even. So, let's get this, and I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing, I just have to go a certain way because of being left-handed. There we go. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. I, what I may end up doing is cutting another piece and sticking it in here so that it's black. Because I, I, you know, don't really want white inside there, but. And I may end up trimming some of this off. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see because it's all white inside, which would have been nice to have double mirror sided mirror paper. But okay, it is what it is. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is this is going to go up here. Get okay, hold this up. So I think I'm going to put some glue on here. This may take a while to stick on here. We're just going to stick it. Oh, and I hope it stays. We're going to stick it like that. Can you see that? What I just did right there. I'm trying to keep everything in frame and I hope it is. It kind of put me a little X on the, you know, X marks the spot. As they say, I'm going to take the little music stand and I'm going to stick it on the front of here. Whoops. I kind of wanted it to go down further. Let's see if we can get it down. I don't want the pop dots to... I don't want them to be above there. Well, I don't want it to be like that either. I might have these two... not low enough. So I'm going to peel those guys off of there. And I think what I'm going to do is put a piece of this down here. Put some of that down there. There, so I just had some of this foam tape and then I stuck it there. Because I, I really want this higher off the keys. And, and I do want it straight. <laughs> oh, I'm missing this up big time. Oh, let's see. Well, all right. Get out of the way there. Let's see if we can get this. to get it even. I can't have that like that. Okay. Now, let's see. We're going to have to do something about this. I'm not sure how to... I had trouble with my other one, too. Let's just see if we can leave that right there and not 
not touch it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so this thing is nerve-wracking to me, but I had no trouble with the other one, but I wasn't trying to use mirror paper and trying to get edges and this this was um there were no there were no tutorials on Facebook about this. And so there was a lot of measuring and cutting and trying to fix get this thing to, to get together. So I see that my time is probably gone. Um, I hope not because I still have some more to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to make a part three. Alrighty. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for joining me and um, I'll catch you in video three, part three. Thank you.